final. Dix, neuf, huit, sept, six, cinq, quatre, trois, deux, un. Allez, Majulquin. Get ready for the gimbal test. The nozzle is now tilting to test its movement. During a launch, this will compensate for any aerodynamic forces pushing Ariane 6 off course. Small changes made automatically by the rocket avionics will keep Ariane 6 on the course. The Vulcan 2 engine is at maximum temperature, 3000 degrees Celsius. At this temperature, gold will turn into a gas. So we cannot use gold and many other metal in the engine. H0 plus 1 minute 33. We are around plus 2 minutes. If this were a real launch and not a test, we expected booster separation around this point when the rocket reached an altitude of about 70 kilometers. As you can see, for this full scale core stage, Ariane 6 is staying on Earth as planned. Without the boosters, the Vulcan 2.1 engine provides full thrust, but the nozzle also controls its ascent by moving on a, on a gimbal. Around three minutes into the engine firing. If this was a normal launch, Ariane 6 will be at 100 kilometers above Earth now, while on its way into, into space. The fairing protecting the satellites inside, inside at the top of the launcher will be not useful and now separate, fall away and fall away. If you are just joining us, we are broadcasting live from Europe Spaceport in Kourou in French Guiana. We are enjoying live views of the RN6 Vulcan 2.1 engine test. We are currently at plus 3 minutes 48 seconds into this hot fire test. During this test, we rehearse to understand this complex system, gain experience and test what is or working as it if as everything is working as it should of course today is the major test it's also the most visible with the eight minute firing of the main engine which is why we are showing it for this test we are not using the launch pad water's deluge system that spray an incredible amount of water at high pressure under the rocket. The water is not to put out fire, 
but to suppress the sound and vibration caused by the boosters. As the boosters are not being tested today, the water deluge system is not needed. We do, we do need to cool the Vulcan 2.1 down during these eight minutes of this test. Vulcan 2.1 has its own cooling system. For this test, it stays close to the ground. We need to stop the engine from overheating. In a launch, in a normal launch, the launch pad will only be subjected to 3,000 odd degrees for a few seconds before takeoff. But during this test, it's for eight minutes. Therefore, we have adapted the water deluge system to provide constant cooling. A system has been installed specifically for this test to cool the flame deflector and the flame trench from the heat. We also installed carbon fiber panels on the flame deflector for the same reason. For the uh, rejoining, the rejoiner, we are broadcasting live from Europe's spaceport on the edge of the Amazon rainforest here in French Guiana, where an RN6 rocket model is undergoing its last major rehearsal needed before its inaugural flight. The launcher Vulcan, the launcher's Vulcan 2.1 engine was ignited about 6 minutes 37 seconds ago and is still burning. qui est rapporté en cours. Fin de la chronologie CTHF, succès de ce premier allumage vulcain. So we have confirmation, main engine cut off, the RN6 core stage has depleted itself from fuel and the engine firing of today's test is finished. If it was a launch, RN6 will be in orbit and the core stage will separate from the upper, st the upper stage, the orbital stage. I'm so happy to see this moment and share it with you. Now, the teams on the ground will start disarming the launch zone by pumping out the fuel of the upper stage tanks that wasn't fire, fire today, today's test of course. We now have many days of analysis in front of us, more than 800 sensors around Ariane 6 have been recording non-stop. We will be comparing the data received in this test to what we expected to happen and see if there is any difference. It generally takes 
two weeks to analyze all the precious data we get. From here, we learn, we gain experience, and we are getting prepared for Europe's newest, mightiest, heaviest markets. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching this moment test. Hundreds of people have been working towards this moment, and I'm very happy to have shared that with you. We have just witnessed a complete new rocket firing its main engine and its first full test of the main stage. Thank you. See you next time for a real launch. You might see me in Jupiter control room. I'm Tony Dos Santos for the European Space Agency, wishing you all the best. Bye.